Welcome to our last video of 2020. Basically, we're going to go through the events of 2020 and then what's going forward with 2021. The videos that we have brought to you this year have been very, very informative and very helpful in trying to get the word out to our membership. Our membership has called many of our reps, and including myself, complimenting on the on the information that is on the videos and how the videos are done. So this will be our last one this year and we'll continue as events roll out in the following year. I'd like now at this time kind of go over some of the events in 2020, what happened at the local hall and some of the implant issues Mike Van Bokel will go uh, over further in this video. One of the things we've been able to do is maintain the operation of the local running down here. We've had UAT training uh, continuing on an ongoing basis and the training has gone over very well. We're going through this, uh, we've almost gone through half the membership so far. I'd like to thank Jamie Chilcott for filling in for Rob White over the last few months. And I'd like to welcome Rob White back as a coordinator of UAT. His first day was yesterday, so welcome back, Rob. One of the things that has really constricted us doing uh, the everyday events is the social gathering rules. And the, and the social gathering rules are new. Uh, Doug Ford has just come out with new rules as of yesterday. So going into the new year, we're really going to have to look and monitor how that is going to affect us at the hall. For the last couple months, October and November, we were able to have membership meetings attended. We had sign-up sheets on the uh, computer, and we had close to 50 people at each meeting. We have also been able to have executive meetings on a monthly basis that have been able to have and deal with the everyday issues of running the hall. As far as running the hall, we have had few opportunities such as social, uh, 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 social gatherings for the um, celebrations of life, sorry, and then um, we've had elections, uh, some for us and some for other locals in the area. We've also had some ratification meetings for other locals in the area. So we've been able to keep kind of a skeleton business going with the hall. But as we are all aware, COVID has kind of reared its ugly head again, and we're in another new stage, and we'll have to see how that affects us going further down in, in, in 2021. One other area that we're looking to go forward with is Simply Voting. Simply Voting is a company that will help us with our triannual election coming up May, June timeframe and we've solicited the plan for sign up. I hopefully, we've had a close to 700 people so far sign up for the uh, process. We need the rest of the people to sign up for the Simply Voting. We wanna get everything together. Uh, we've had our com election committee members, two members who are meeting with Simply Voting to kind of go through some of the processes and what we're gonna do going forward. With the triannual election, May or June, we are looking to uh, do most plant-wide elections by simply voting and then we'll still have the zone reps that will have um, the voting ballots in the plant to uh, for their elections and then maybe in future elections we'll have the entire process but we'll see how it goes in May or June with simply voting. One of the big advantages with simply voting is we've had 465 retirees leave this year and I'd like to welcome uh, congratulate all 465 retirees for their 30 years, most of them 30 years, and uh, hopefully they live a long, prosperous life in their retirement. But you'll also be able now to, to vote uh, for all executive positions. So whether you live in, I believe it's uh, Cochinan Bay, St. George, Newfoundland, Cochinan Bay is in BC, Arnstein, Ontario. We actually have a couple that's moving to Mexico. All these people will now be able to go online and vote for all executive members and still feel part of the local 80 family. So we're really looking forward to that part and keeping part, uh, keeping all our retirees attached. And going forward with the retirees, I would have to say, and I've said this several times in newsletters and a couple times on the videos, we really haven't had a good send off for most of our retirees. If this COVID ever goes away, and hopefully it does spring or fall, maybe sometime late summer, early fall, or the following year even, we're, we're looking at having a massive retirees picnic where we can all meet, have, a, have a, something to eat, a beer, and just kind of reminisce a lot of the stuff that you didn't get to do on your last day of work. So we're, the executive has already talked about this. We're gonna, we're gonna do this, but we have to wait till COVID goes away like for everything else. One of the other things uh, with the simply voting is if 
we ever get called into early bargaining or if we have bargaining, we can use the information that is on there. So the information will be set up so people will then be able to just go on for ratification, for strike mandates, and all, uh, all the voting process we do. With, with the COVID, we cannot meet in a hall. We cannot uh, mass you know, the social gathering, so we can't meet. So the, the simply voting will be another process that we can use when we're going through those processes too. And with that, I'd like to just say, hopefully everyone has a safe and Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Take the time, enjoy the time off with your family, and hopefully 2021 is a lot better than the last year we've gone through. Thank you. Hello, welcome to our second video. Um, as Joe said, uh, my name is Mike Van Bokel. I'm just here to basically overcap or review what's happened in 2020 as far as the implant. Um, 2020 will always be remembered as the year of the COVID pandemic. It got off to a rough start with us shutting down and it looks like it's going to end the same way. Uh, we just can't seem to escape it right now. So hopefully everybody stays safe over the Christmas break. We are running again on June or January 4th. We are considered essential, so we will be here running. Um, I do want to say a big congratulations, as Joe said, to the over 460 uh, retirees that we have. I know Joe talked about them. All I wish for you guys mainly, more than anything, is your health. Uh, I've been in this job a long time, and we've seen a lot of people come and go in our plant. And if you don't have your health once you retire, nothing else really matters. So good luck to everybody out there. I hope you get a lot of, uh, a lot of chance to, re or to uh, travel at some point and see the world. But hopefully right now, it's just your health is more important than anything. Um, I do want to say a big thank you also to our membership. We recently uh, received an award as the number one quality plant in the, in the world, not just North America, but in the world. That absolutely falls back on our members and onto your shoulders for all the work you do day in and day out. Uh, hopefully GM stops and recognizes that sometime, but uh, I doubt it. Um, right now we're going through a tremendous uh, amount of movement. We are going from three shifts to two shifts, unfortunately with 460 people uh, retiring. Uh, it's created a lot of holes throughout the plant, uh, throughout each department, and we had really no choice but to go from three shifts down to two shifts. We are in the midst of all that. There's a lot of movement right now, a lot of canvassing going on. The postings are pretty well finished, and we do realize people want to know where they're going. Uh, you may not know before Christmas. There's just so much, so much involved to try and get everybody in their spots. Um, I don't have a lot to say on this one. It'll be a pretty short for me. But going ahead uh, this week right now for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of this week right before Christmas, our Master Bargaining Committee is actually at the hall all week. We are getting ready for the proposal sheets, which we hope will be out today. We are following our normal practice. However, uh, we are going through all our demands, trying to get ready for a contract. In case GM comes knocking early, we want to be prepared. So I do ask you to take the time, uh, go to the icon, whatever it's called, and uh, register to vote. Um, because you have to vote already for trying your elections, but if we are entering into early talks at some point, we also have to get you guys registered to vote. So we will be down here uh, getting ready, working on proposals. We ask you to take the time, fill out the proposal sheets uh, to give us some ideas and get your feedback. Uh, the big three did go into bargaining this year. They came up with a contract. Uh, I think it's a huge surprise that Oshawa got more work. It's a tip of the hat to Jerry Dias and his team. I thought it was fantastic. Um, it did come at a steep price. The language is absolutely terrible on some of the work rules they put in place. And no doubt GM will try and enforce some of that in our plan as well. But uh, the cost was huge, but it created a lot of jobs, which was fantastic, and a plant that everybody thought was going to die. However, uh, we will be ready. We are starting to get our stuff together. And uh, that's about it for the implant. But uh, on behalf of our entire implant, uh, we wish nothing but Merry Christmas and all the best in 2021 to our members.